Hey what's going on there everyone, today's video is going to be an updated tutorial of how to set up and install Nameless MC. Essentially Nameless MC is a forum software that is free to use and it works so very well. And these links will be down in the description. Essentially, it kind of looks like this. So you got your forum. So if you're running a Minecraft server or like an event server or something, and you can have the news, general topics, a whole bunch of cool stuff. So you, your members can register on your site and you can have it hooked up to your Discord using a, a cool bot as well. So there's plenty of cool things you can do with having a forum software and you can have it hooked up to your Minecraft domain as well. And then there's also uh, quite a bit of uh, themes that you can have. For example, uh, there are some that are free and some that are paid, uh, but here is uh, some cool themes that a few people have made. So uh, there's a lot of customization that you can do with it and you can just make a really nice site for your server. So I'm gonna be using a shared web host to upload my farm software. And there are quite a bit of various hosting providers that you can use to upload your files for a web server. Uh, so I'm gonna actually be using Revive Node. I'm just gonna be choosing their silver plan. If you wanna use Revive Node, you can use my code Striker to save 15% off your purchases. And uh, you can go ahead and just click order. And then of course you will need a domain of some sort uh, to use this. And I'm gonna be using my free domain right here, which is just adampup.tk. And whatever domain that you have, you can just go ahead and add it just like so. And then that would be your specific domain. And then of course you can go ahead and purchase it. So once you have your domain and your web server purchased, I went ahead and log in to the Revive Node web server and we'll go ahead and get this set up. So now we are on the web hosting uh, direct admin panel, basically the control panel for web hosting. So the very first thing that I'm gonna be doing is setting up our DNS records. So I have my domain hooked up with Cloudflare. As you see, we have zero records right here. We need to go ahead and start adding records for our website to actually work. So what we're gonna be doing is just having a record and this is going to just be a root. We can use at for the root. So when players or users go to this domain, they will be directed to our web server and it will show up the forum site. It's gonna be 85202160143. So this is specifically for Revive Node. You will need to check with your hosting provider to see what IP address is going to be. And we can have a proxy that gives you extra security and then the TTL is fine at auto. So Cloudflare is pretty fast. So let's go ahead and do that. So now I'm gonna be adding another record and this one is going to be called the C name, all right? So what I'm gonna be putting right here is going to be www and then the target is going to just be an at symbol. So essentially what this does is it's going to, when people do in www, it's going to basically look at this specific target record, which is going to be essentially this IP address. So it's just easier. So if you want to update a single IP address here, it's gonna automatically update this one. It's basically looking at whatever content this is for the IP. The last thing I want to go ahead and add is going to be an MX record. And this is going to be a mail record. And so this is going to be uh, the at symbol for the root as well. And then the mail server is going to be web1.revive.no.com. And then I'm just gonna have priority as 10. And that's pretty much good. TTL can be left at zero. So this record is essential for sending and receiving mail through uh, the direct admin. So once you have those three records set up, um, it might take about 30 minutes or so. It can take up to 24 to 48 hours for DNS, but Cloudflare is pretty quick. So what I'm gonna ahead and just do is, I'm gonna ahead and see if it's loaded up. And there we go, it's actually loaded up, which is perfect. So this is the basically the launch template or the base template for our specific domain. So that means the DNS is registered correctly. And we can actually uh, change this to SSL here in a second. Once you have confirmed your domain is correctly registered, let's go ahead and download our nameless files. So I'm gonna head and hit download. I'm just gonna be using a pre-release cause I like that better. Um, and it's up to you, whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna head and download that specific code. So once that is downloaded, we can go ahead and exit out of those and we can actually go back to direct admin here. So we're gonna be uh, setting up our SSL certificates, which is right here. 
SSL, basically securing the site. And you wanna come to the very left hand side, get automatic, and we're gonna be make sure that yes, our www and our base domain is correctly set up. So we're gonna head and save that. And there we go, now our key has been successfully saved and I'm gonna head and go back one more time. I'm gonna select this check checkbox down here to force SSL. So let's go ahead and save that and that looks perfect. So now we can head back to our file manager. So I'm gonna open this bad boy up here. So once you go to your domain, make sure you go into the public HTML and this is probably what it will look like by default because this is the default landing page. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm actually going to head and remove this because we don't want this here. So we'll go ahead and move out the trash and then upload our zip file here. And this will take a few minutes and we'll go ahead and wait for it to upload. All right, so now we have uploaded everything and I'm gonna head and extract this and it's gonna make its own little folder. And then we'll move the files out into the main directory. So yeah, that looks good. And it's gonna head and add here. Go into this directory and we're going to select all the files and then we're going to move them back into the main directory here. So make sure it is in the public HTML and just go ahead and move those out and then we should be good. So I'm going to head and go back here, public HTML. Perfect. That looks good. We can go ahead and remove our zip file that we uploaded and there we go. So now since this, uh, all of our extracted files are now in our public HTML, we can go to our site again and we should get a landing page to install Nameless and there we go, that is perfect. And you can see our site is now secure with the SSL that we did generate prior. So we'll go new install and yes, all the requirements are good to go. We can proceed and then here's the host name. Installation path is just going to be uh, the basic one. And for the installation path, if it is in your main directory uh, in the public HTML, you can leave this blank. If you are trying to put it into somewhere else, make sure you designate what path it is going to be. I do recommend enabling the friendly URLs because it just looks a lot better. As you can see here is an example. Uh, I just recommend enabling that. That looks nicer. And we can hit proceed. Now we need to set up the database. So coming back to our panel here, we can go to uh, the MySQL management and we can go ahead and make a new database here. So I'm just gonna call this name list and we can go ahead and click this to generate a password and we're gonna head and just create password. So now we can actually copy this and we can go to our website and uh, this is basically the same, the 127 address is basically the same as localhost. If that doesn't work, you can change it to localhost, but by default it should be good. But we need to change the username as well as the database name and that info is all right here, as you can see. And then we just need our password and we can update that. There we go. So everything else should be good by default. We can hit proceed and now it's going to ahead and do that. So now we can actually make our site name. So this is going to be Adam PVP. We can make a contact email and we let's go ahead and actually do that. So if we go back to our dashboard here, nice little fancy email account tab, let's go ahead and make our own. So I'm going to call this just admin. So we can call this admin at adampvp.tk. I'm just going to set the password to password01 so I can remember it. And you can set uh, basically the max, uh, which is basically unlimited. So let's go ahead and create that. Uh, so here is our specific username or our email address. We can actually input this here. And you could uh, have a specific like support email if you wanted. Uh, you can make whatever emails that you want in direct admin, which is very nice. So let's go ahead and proceed there. And we can also set up a username. So I'm just gonna do this admin um, and we can make it easy. Oops. We make it easy here. We'll do password is your one. Password is your one. Obviously you want something a little bit more secure than that. Um, and no, we do not want to convert. And there we go, we're all completed. And now it should have us authenticate. So I'm gonna head and enter our specific uh, admin password that we just made. So password 01, and let's go ahead and submit that. 
And there we go. Now we have successfully installed Nameless NMC. You can click this to view the site. It's going to open up in a new tab. And there we go. That is our specific uh, Nameless MC already set up. And we can swap it to Dark Mode, which is perfect. So there's so many things that you can do with Nameless MC. It is quite amazing. So there's quite a bit of configurations and customizations you can do with Nameless MC. And of course, you can find quite a bit on their forums page. Uh, but the first thing I recommend you guys doing is coming into the configuration and then you want to come to emails and you want to make sure that your emails are all properly set up so of course we set up our email address right here already and I went ahead and actually sent a test email and that should give us a test email to our admin uh, admin email address so that will confirm number one that we can actually send emails properly and number two that our admin address is actually receiving the emails properly as well and to test that we can come over to our dashboard go to email accounts and then you can just click this button right here that will log you in automatically to your specific uh email so here it is so that is the test email everything looks like it correctly sent which is perfect so that means that we are getting the emails properly so there we go that is how you set up nameless mc as I did say, there's so many cool things and layouts and modules that you can enable and customize. Uh, so it's pretty epic and even it comes with some wikis and some Votifier uh, installations that you can actually set up. So just read on how to do this and their Discord is very popular and active. So if you guys need help, I do recommend going over there to uh, figure out how to do some uh, cool thing so anyways that's pretty much everything with this video let me know if you guys have any questions down below and i will see you guys in the next video have a wonderful day peace out